Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday. I am headed to work, and here's what I'm taking with me for beverage, lunch, and snack today. So first of all, my coffee this morning is actually this McKay, McCafe, McCafe Premium Roast. Um, I thought I would try something a little different. Eddie actually got these on a great sale, so that's what I'm having for my coffee this morning with one tablespoon of fat-free half and half for zero smart points. Also having my Teamy Fall Detox Water. So it's one teaspoon of Teamy Skinny Tea for zero smart points. Some pickled ginger, half of a sliced pear, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. All zero smart points. Um, coffee and tea, zero. For lunch today, I'm having this gigantic egg mug. So tons and tons of protein in there. So what I have in there is one cup of these great value egg makers. One cup is one smart point. And then I have three ounces of the Foster Farms grilled chicken breast strips, also one smart point. Um, then I have three cheeses. So this is a three cheese egg mug. I have a quarter cup of fat-free shredded cheddar for zero smart points. I have a tablespoon of fat-free cream cheese for zero smart points. And then I have one ounce of the Trader Joe's fat-free feta cheese for zero smart points. Um, and then I have some diced bell pepper and some diced onion on top. So that is my three cheese chicken egg mug. And since there's so much, <laughs> I have to pour it in here to cook it. So I will dump it in here, put it in a microwave for 30 seconds and stir. Microwave 30 seconds and stir and microwave 30 seconds and stir until it's done And I think it takes about two minutes if I remember right So that is my three cheese chicken egg mug for two smart points for lunch And then oh, I'm also having that with this salsa of course salsa zero smart points And then snack today is a banana. So everything from now until dinner today is two smart points Hey everyone, it's Tuesday morning. I am on my first walk break of the day. Here's my outfit of the day. Leggings, because it's weigh-in day. And also this plaid that I fell in love with from fairyseason.com. So if you guys like the clothing at fairyseason.com, it's really, really inexpensive. It's um, I've got shirts there for like eight to twelve dollars. So very inexpensive. The quality is not bad It's not you know crummy, but it's decent quality for the price um, One thing I would tell you though is definitely definitely order up I have been ordering a size larger than what I normally am these clothes come from China or someplace with Asian writing on the package so they come from far away where people are little teeny tiny so I have been ordering one size up for my shirts um, and I think I may start ordering two sizes up so if it looks like it's gonna be a snug fit I would order two sizes up if it looks to be a looser type style then maybe one size but I do like their clothing and I really really like the price so what's going on today uh, work it's been super busy at work already this morning so I'm trying to get some steps in it's one of those days where I just don't want to tear myself away but I know I need to yesterday thankfully I hit most of my steps before I went home at the end of the evening so I'd like to try and repeat that today I'm going to be running three miles at lunchtime and also doing 10 minutes on the rower but I think in order to keep Hitting my 16,000 step goal, I need to do two loops around the park twice. So that's what I'm doing for today. Um, tonight is weigh-in and then just headed home for dinner after that. So nothing major going on, you guys. I'm gonna do a little product re review for you right now and show you some super cool leggings that I just discovered. They're awesome. Anyway, so after that, I'll check in with you guys probably and my second walk break. That was really hard and I am beat. I'm so glad that I didn't go take a nap in the car, which is what I wanted to do. So, three miles.
Okay guys, walk break number two. Today is literally one of those days that is so busy that it's so hard to just tear myself away. But I gotta do it. I'm so glad that I actually set an alarm on my Fitbit. I have an alarm for 11.30 and one for 4.30. And that tells me that it's time to go out and do my walks because otherwise probably wouldn't happen at all. So anyway, I just wanna give a huge shout out to everyone who hit their goal yesterday in the Fitbit challenge. This is kind of a long list, but I think you, you all of you guys deserve a huge shout out, okay? So here we go, Carrie T, Gina P, Julie D, Jerry, Tina, Nikki W, Gabriella, Alice, Charity, Cheryl S, Kat, Emily, Shelly, Crystal W, Sarah B, Dawn, Jean L, Julissa, Kathleen, Laura Huber, Rita C, Aaron C, Rita A, The Yin Yang Life, Rhiannon, Karen B, Heather A, Deborah, Sandra W, Daisy, Mary K, Esther H, Asma, and Angela S. All of you guys, and guess what? I hit my goal yesterday too. <laughs> so I am with you guys in the winner's circle. Congratulations to all of you. And one last thing I do have to say is that the eggs that I had for lunch were so filling. If you guys are looking for a super filling and super low points meal that was uh, two smart points, two smart points and tons and tons of protein. I didn't add up all of the protein in the eggs, but a cup of eggs, one, three ounces of chicken, one, two smart points, and the rest was like from the cheese. So uh, it was just super filling. Like, I feel like I don't need to eat for a year. Anyway, I got one more loop. I'm going as fast as I can. I need to get back and do more work. Okay guys, 7.50 and I am headed home and I'm so glad because I'm so tired. I don't know what it is about this day, but I am just wiped out. Oh, so, um, I did not eat that banana because I'm telling you, the eggs were so filling. I feel like I've been having my fruit snack, maybe, or my afternoon snack, maybe 50% of the time, if that. Um, so this whole like intermittent fasting thing, it just, it works. I feel like I am not really, I, I just, I don't consume a lot of food right now and um, I'm not really hungry for it. So that's okay in my book. I still eat my points, of course, so I'm not starving or anything like that, but I'm not over consuming either. And I'm definitely not over consuming like zero points foods or even high points foods. So that's good that's fine with me um so i did not eat my banana i am mildly hungry right now i feel like i'll be hungry by the time i get home we're having pork roast pork and um some of the apples that i made last night because apples and pork just sound good together and then i don't know what else probably some broccoli or something fresh some actually some fresh tomatoes or something sound really good um, anyway, so Weight Watchers, weigh in. I'm kind of bummed because I'm really only at, I think, 15,000 steps right now, and I don't know if I'm gonna get the rest. I only need a thousand more steps, but you guys, I'm so tired right now. I don't feel like doing any more extra walking. I don't want to walk around in the dark. Um, I just, I don't, I want to go home and not do anything, so... Anyway, Weight Watchers. So weigh in tonight. I weighed in last two weeks ago. Two weeks ago I was 134.0 and tonight I was 132.6. Yay, so I am down 1.4 pounds, yay. So that makes me very, very happy. Um, and I do feel like I earned it because I feel like my weekdays have for the most part been very spot on, except for last Monday, I have been like right at my points, right at my 30 points every day on the weekday. So that's good. I need to still work on my weekends, but 
I don't know if that's like ever going to happen because I enjoy my weekends. I enjoy my extra beverages on the weekend. I enjoy the extra food splurges that we do. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with um, I'm pretty happy with my weekends right now. If I can, I guess, just fine tune the weekdays a little more and just make sure that I'm staying at 30 points, then maybe I can just nudge the scale down a tiny bit each week just from doing that. So, and of course, keeping my workouts up, I'm going to need to increase my running just a little bit eventually. Maybe not because um, I'm thinking about training for the half marathon in December and I guess I really don't need to add any extra runs or extra distances because I'm already doing a weekly long run. Um, so I believe the most I would want to really extend the long run at this point for the half marathon would be maybe 15 miles. So that's not gonna take too much extra time. I will have to move that from Fridays to Saturdays though because I don't want to do 15 miles on the treadmill so I'll need to do that outside. Anyway, that has nothing to do with weigh-in or anything really. Um, so yeah, I'm down 1.4 pounds. Very happy about it. Our discussion tonight was about making more time. So of course, you know me, I'm all ears. I'm like, yes, what's the secret? I'm here. I'm ready to listen and learn. Tell me the secrets. Mm -mm. No, it didn't work. So there's a little activity in the weekly this week, in the Weight Watchers Weekly, and it asks you to, do, number one, we listed all of our priorities, things that we have to do on a daily basis. We listed that on the whiteboard, okay? Things like eat, sleep, shop, meal prep, work, relax, um, traffic, stuff like that. Things that you have to do. Um, so we listed all of that on the whiteboard. And then you go to the activity in the weekly and it says envision a large jar or a large container and you want to put all your priorities in first. Those are the rocks. So all your rocks go in first. Everything that you have to do. Um, those are rocks. Then things that, you know, are maybe not as important. And the, and the weekly breaks it down a little more in, de, in more description. I didn't read the weekly because I didn't bring my glasses. So the things that are not as important are going to be the pebbles. And then um, things that are even less important are the sand. And then things that are just like the icing on the cake in life. Like <laughs> one of the examples was um, internet shopping. <laughs> um, the icing on the cake is the water that you put in last. So that's how you want to prioritize and organize your day, your activities, so you can get things done and essentially make more time. So that's all well and good, I guess, for most people. But literally everything we listed on the whiteboard, and one of the things that we listed, someone kind of said facetiously, but she said she does like a lot of volunteer work. So one of her uh, priorities was saving the world. And I was like, oh my gosh, me too, <laughs> you know? Um, so literally, I feel like every single thing that we listed was a rock and all my rocks are not fitting in my jar, you know? So then what? How many rocks can I cut out? I have to sleep. I have to eat. I have to meal plan. I should meal prep, but I'm not meal prepping, which is then adding more time to my week. I have to work, you know? So all my rocks, which rock am I going to get rid of? Uh, it was it's it's it was and it is an overwhelming topic for me so something I struggle with all the time is just time management and priorities and all the things that I want and need to do in life and I just can never get to them so anyway that was Weight Watchers tonight I'm super happy that I am down a little bit and it gives me a little bit of extra motivation to keep the ball rolling especially now that the holidays are coming I'm very thankful I am not really a sweets person anymore, so I'm not craving anything. I'm not looking forward to anything. The one thing that I am absolutely looking forward to for Thanksgiving is my dad's stuffing, and I will probably eat a boatload of that, but it's, it's stuffing. It's not chocolate, so um, there is no Halloween candy, which tempts me at all, because Halloween candy you can get any time of year. It's just shaped different. Easter candy, on the other hand, 
you cannot get any time of year. You can't get a Cadbury egg or a peep in the middle of the winter, <laughs> for the most part. So anyway, I did buy one thing tonight that I wanted to show you guys. So Weight Watchers has these two new hot chocolates. Mm -hmm. I got this one. I got the creme, is it caramel? Caramel cream. So it's a caramel cream hot chocolate. So it's gonna have both chocolate and caramel flavors. And it's only one smart point, but you guys wanna know what I'm gonna do with this. So you know how much I love that Cafe Creations Mucho Mocha. Um, those, that's the little tiny packet. It's zero smart point, but it gives a really good um, dark chocolate flavor to coffee, but it's not too sweet. So I want to take it a little step further and I want to try one of these hot chocolate packs in my coffee on Saturday and see what that tastes like. So I'm going to bite the bullet and spend a point if I do it. I um, wonder how much, wonder if I could get away with doing a half a package. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try that in my coffee. Chocolate caramel coffee on Saturday morning. Totally looking forward to that. So I'm going to try this and let you guys know how it is. If it's good, I am probably going to get the mint truffle because that is also a limited edition hot chocolate from Weight Watchers. It is also one smart point and I think it would be a really good little holiday treat too in my coffee. So anyway, I'll report back and let you guys know how it is. I'm gonna finish the ride home and I'll check back with you guys and show you what dinner looks like. Bye! So we're making Cuban sandwiches and so we got bread put a lot of mustard on top, chopped up some kosher pickles, I uh, roasted some pork in the slow cooker, or cooked some co some pork in the slow cooker, and um, that is a brick right there, and we put some turkey and Swiss cheese in the sandwich, brought out here, I preheated these bricks so that if you see Julie's sandwiches right here getting squished and slightly toasted on one side. <clears throat> I don't know how long we should cook it for. I guess we'll have to see. I'm going to take this brick off and take a look at the sandwiches. Oh, nice and squished. Let's see if it's toasty. They're a little on the toastier side now. <clears throat> I'm hoping that I'll be able to pry them off of this. Oh yeah, I'll be able to pry them off. Pry them off. I'll probably flip them. Flip them and pry them off. Uh, so I can toast the other side. So I'm flipping them. Nice and uh, slightly toasted. It's going to be a little bit more well done. So we're just toasting these things up. Shouldn't take too long. Once they're heated up, I'm going to uh, take them off. <clears throat> I think that's good. Close that up. Here's a little bit of safety information on barbecuing. Uh, what I found with this barbecue is that you always should turn the novels off, then turn off the propane when you're going to start it. Turn the propane on, make sure the lid is closed. When you turn on the propane, open the lid, turn the dial into ignite. This barbecue, the ignition button doesn't work. So I need to throw a match into it. I don't like doing it right now, but that's what, how I'm going to do it for the next couple of days until I fix it. <clears throat> then um, you'll have your barbecue lit. I can smell that mustard already. So let's take this one off. And take this one off. Okay. Okay. Going to take Julie's sandwich that I've been smashing over here. Ugh. 
we're going to put her sandwich on. A little piece of pork right there. Mm, good. Okay. Her sandwich goes on. <coughs> the top is definitely toasted to the brick. Just oops. Just gonna rebuild Julie's sandwich here. A little piece of our bread. Where's that? Where all the tongs. Oh, there they are. We're just gonna smash this down so that everything kind of goes out. I hope these sandwiches are good. Okay guys, big change of plans for dinner. So Eddie decided to make Cuban sandwiches. So this is my Cuban sandwich here. Let me tell you what is on it. It is five smart points. So I have two slices of the Sara Lee Delightful Bread. Two slices is two smart points. Then I have one slice of this reduced fat Jarlsberg Swiss cheese for one smart point. I have four slices of the Deli Fresh oven roasted turkey breast for zero smart points and then I have some horseradish, mus horseradish mustard for zero smart points and about half of one of these giant pickles for zero smart points and then I have um, one and seven eighths ounces of pork roast for two smart points so that's all inside there. I don't want to open it up because the cheese is all melted nice. So the pork roast is two smart points, the bread is two smart points, and the one slice of cheese is one smart point. So that is five smart points for my Cuban sandwich. And then I just have some sliced tomatoes with a little drizzle of balsamic vinegar for zero smart points, and some sliced red bell pepper. And then over there I have my Grapefruit Bellini for 18 smart points with some yummy frozen grapes. So everything here is 18 plus 5, 23 smart points. Plus the two points I had earlier today puts me at 25 smart points for the day.